it is what the last Saturday in August it is August 28th there we go glad you got the date for me because I'm a little off this morning that's my sister's birthday there you go that's a good reason to remember I guess yeah. so we've got a lot to share with you guys today but before we get started too much on some of the chores and things we're gonna get done we need to move some turkeys so we're gonna do that with you guys here you guys probably already saw Lori grabbed the dog carrier or the crate and also our Rubbermaid right over here. We're gonna use that to load these turkeys up and get them into their turkey hotel. They're really excited and boy, are they getting big. So we're gonna go ahead and load them up here for you guys and then uh, you guys will help us put them in their new home. the turkeys moved into their new home we've been I've been waiting for this all week because they are just so big for that brooder and have just totally outgrown the area so I'm interested to see how they do today in here and I'll leave them alone for a little bit but then come and spend some time with them to make sure they you know find the feed and water and and but it looks like they're already starting to peck around on the ground so that's cool Got the turkeys in their turkey hotel. How do you feel about that turkey mama? <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. I just want to be in there with them right now. Well, you will be because, well, you can be now. Yeah. Maybe we should talk a little bit about that. Okay. <laughs> about the big change up here on the farm that I'm very excited about, honestly. I know you are. I, yeah, I am too, yeah. Really. We wanted to take a quick break because we had some pretty cool stuff happen on the farm this week. And I'm gonna go ahead and link the video here where we talked a little bit about what happened or what was bound to happen and what finally did this week. So you want to tell everybody how your week's been? Well, I have been full time on the farm this week. Mm -hmm. Yep. So got a lot of um, projects done that we've been that have been on our to do list for mm -hmm. a while. 
Yep. And it makes it so that our weekends are not crammed and we can actually breathe a little bit and enjoy the farm. Yeah, you get to enjoy the farm a lot more than I do these days now. Yep. Not that I'm jealous much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been really nice to have you on the farm this week. You've gotten a lot of stuff done. In fact, you know what? Why don't we share with you guys real quick exactly what Lori's been up to this week? At least uh, this <laughs> one was, of the days. This is one day. <laughs> one yeah. day. Yeah. So you actually got a lot done. But let's go ahead and take a look at Lori's uh, busy day here on the farm. So it is Tuesday, August 24th. A couple projects that I did want to get done today. As you know, we've been switching out the cages that we have around the trees to the white tubing and taking those cages off. And I'm going to show you a couple reasons why we are wanting to do that. Um, but today I'm going to uncage our trees that we have back here. But they're getting nice and big, big enough. The trunks are nice and solid that I think we can go ahead and unleash those. Another one I'm gonna to try to get done today is our Dapple Dandy Pluot. But one of the reasons that we're wanting to try to get the cages off as the trees are growing, the wind blows, and the branches start rubbing against the cage. And um, it's doing some damage on some of our um, branches that we have. Let me see if I can find one on here and show you. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it actually has created like a divot almost in this branch right here from rubbing against this cage. We're finding that on a lot of the trees where the branches are rubbing, it's either completely rubbing the bark off or digging into it like that. Let me give you another example of some apple trees that I wanna to try to get uncaged, uh, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. So this is one of our um, tropic sweet apples and you can see the branches as they're coming out, they're getting twisted. And some of these ones are all angled down. This one's getting twisted around this way. So when we uncage it, the branches aren't going to be coming out. They're going to be all down twisted all over the place. So we really want to get some of these uncaged as well to help this tree expand a little better. So before I uh, uncage all the trees, I'm going to go ahead and plant some pumpkin seeds. Dwayne and I have been wanting to do this the last couple of weeks. We probably should have already had them in the ground. So I decided I'll do that real quick first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant it over here in the old pig area right next to where we have the Sudan grass. We haven't fenced this area back off yet so I'm just going to use some old tree cages that we had uh, left over from pulling them off of the smaller tree. And I'm going to put a little bit of wood chips in here, get it watered in really good. And then when we go back and fence the whole area as they start growing we'll be able to un take these out if we want to or when they get bigger definitely take them out. I will be staking each one of these cages just with an EMT pipe to hold it in place so it doesn't get knocked over and hopefully that'll work. May put wood chips in the whole area here to to help the ground as well. So let's get started. <laughs> on all of those and the stakes in and that's just so that the wind doesn't blow it off and then we'll get those taken off if we see birds are starting to bother it we can always put um, bird netting on the top of here as well so I'm gonna go get some wood chips so we can at least get some wood chips in the center of these make it some around the area so that when we do fence it that's already done <laughs>
so I got that done and um, turned out pretty good. We'll go back and put a uh, little fencing around the entire thing as they start growing, especially just because of the um, rabbits mostly, um, and then be able to take the other, the smaller cages off. So just had to have Dwayne help me with one of the stakes that I couldn't get in. I obviously hit a rock down there. I tried a couple of spots and it's just not going in for me. So I'll have to have him help me with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the tractor put away. I need to go inside and eat something for breakfast real quick and get dinner started in the crock pot and then I'm gonna go get those um, tree cages off of those almond and the dapple dandy. Mm -hmm. apple trees done as well as the other side um, these ones I had to do the t-post to do the stakes which um, is tiring so I think I'm gonna call it quits for today for these um, I do have one other small project I want to try to get done before I head inside so let's go check that out so last thing I want to do today is I wanted to get a couple of Shangri-La mulberry cuttings and get them potted up. Um, we have several of the contorted mulberries that we did cuttings off of having pots that are that are um, all doing good as well as the Illinois Everberry mulberries that we did air layering on. So we have several of those in pots too. So just needed to try to get some shangalas in pots. I'm just going to kind of scrape up the branch here, get some rooting hormone on it and then get them into the pots. ahead and get these watered in really good get some wood chips on top of them and I'll probably stake them just since they are so top heavy right now um, possibly come back and top it cut it down a little bit um, and then get them over with the other potted trees so you can see she was really busy just that one day and having her here every day to work on these small projects just gives us time here on the weekends to do something we've never done and that's enjoy some farm time Mm -hmm. We just never had a chance to do that until today. You're a full-time farm girl. I am. So It's exciting. It is. So what does that feel like to be a full-time farmer? It is less stress. Mm -hmm. It is um, relaxing or maybe I'm more relieved. I haven't had anxiety this week at all. So that was nice. That is nice. But you've been busy. I've been really busy, yeah. Well, you were even joking with me this week that I'm going to get back into shape. Okay, I, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure that's exactly how that conversation went. I, I think that was. I, oh, you're gonna get in shape. No, okay. Sometimes I'm not a smart man <laughs> with the things that I say. I'm gonna blame it on the sickness. You're not sick. <laughs> uh, maybe not sick in that way. We've obviously had Lori home before and this last year and a half, we've spent a lot of time and a lot of money to get the farm up and running. So we kind of really needed you to be working because that helped fund a lot of what we've been able to do here yeah. on the farm. And that may slow down a little bit with you home, but at the same time, we're gonna be able to do a couple things 
a little bigger and better, right? Mm -hmm. You were busy um, securing pigs this week. We have mm -hmm. broilers coming onto the farm here in a week and a half. Yep. So you'll be able to prep for the for their arrival, which is going to be nice. And we've got more livestock coming onto the farm. Yeah. Because you're home, and so we can. Yeah. yeah. And then it's actually been less stressful for me, honestly, having you here because we don't need to scramble at night to do a bunch of tasks and you're able to do the small projects during the week. Mm -hmm. so. And I've been helping out with even um, YouTube videos and um, editing and comments. And mm -hmm. so that takes a little bit of stress off of you as well. Yeah. If you were trying to do all of them. Yeah. You'll probably be seeing more of Lori on these as she shares her days, her busy, busy days, mm -hmm. um, but busy in a different way. And you guys will get an idea of what she does from day to day. And then obviously we'll still be doing the content you guys always see, but maybe a little less stress, I think, for both of us, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Before I forget, I want to make sure I remind you guys it's the end of August here uh, this weekend. That means next Saturday at 3 o'clock Arizona time, we'll have our monthly Q&A. And maybe we'll actually be able to do the podcast more often for everybody um, when you're home because you can do some editing. But we have that next week, so we don't want to forget to let you guys know to be sure you're here for that. And then, you know what? We, we never get a chance to say this in the middle of these vlogs, but if you're not a subscriber to the channel, we would love to have you as a subscriber. And you guys know, share the content. Definitely helps us out here. You know, Lori's on the farm full time. And as much as YouTube is not a big income stream for us, it is one. So, you know, having you guys watching the ads that come up, I know you got a lot of you guys do. Um, that's a big part of it. And you know our Amazon shop as well. But also if you share the content, you know, that helps get the word out and more people find us. A lot of people don't know we're here and the things that we're doing. And obviously with you here, those are really gonna ramp up a lot. Yeah. We'll have a lot more to share. All right, so we've got another project we wanna get done with you guys today. You guys saw in Lori's video from this week that she's been very busy going around the farm and getting some trees released from their cages because <laughs> with all of that rain. And they're exploding. They're going nuts. Yeah. And the trees at the back of the farm, the mulberry trees in particular, they're really starting to struggle in their cages. We're gonna go ahead and head to the back here with you guys and get these mulberries uncaged so you guys can see what they look like when they're unleashed. Uh -oh. got all of the mulberries uncaged back here. A couple of them really flopped down. Some other ones are still kind of holding the shape, but either way we saw just how much branching and leaf material is being, is being put on on these mulberry trees that the majority of which we just planted here in February. I think it was January or February. We got six of them that are black Pakistan mulberries that we got from Greg at the Urban Farm Fruit Tree Program. If you guys remember, they ran out of the Dave Wilson um, bare root trees, so these are actually potted from somebody here locally. These look pretty good, and it's starting to get really, really warm. So I think we're gonna call it for today. It's definitely getting warm. I just wanna thank you guys for being with us. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, talked about it already, but we'd love to have you as a subscriber. We got a lot of new stuff coming up, obviously with Lori here full time. Super exciting, yeah. right? Yeah. For you too. Uh, but we'll share as much, obviously, as we can. The good thing is now we will be able to capture a lot more for you guys as we continue to put this farm together. Lots of ways to support us here. Obviously, doing what you're doing, spending your time with us. The most expensive thing, most costly thing we have here on the planet is our time, and you guys choose to spend that with us each week. We really love having you here. You guys know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section down below, please share the content in our Amazon shop, a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. So can you. Yeah. <laughs>
Is that not right? No, that's absolutely right. Oh, <laughs> I'm confused. You're not. <laughs> oh. Hi. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Sure. I like this view. Huh? I like this view. Yeah. It's a good vantage point. <laughs> It's kind of nice having you on the farm full time. I know. Because you just do all the chores. It's fantastic. You did some this morning. Just a little. That's good. Maybe this will be Let like the this will be the little ketchup nook. Ketchup nook? Yeah, not a mustard nook. Just a ketchup nook. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm feeling better. I think so too. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. Okay.